Astoria, Oregon. Astoria is a port city in the seat of Clatsop County, Oregon, United States. Founded in 1811, it is the oldest U.S. city west of the Rocky Mountains, and the oldest city in the state of Oregon. Astoria is located on the south shore of the Columbia River, where the river meets the Pacific Ocean. The city is named for John Jacob Astor, an investor from New York City whose American Fur Company founded Fort Astoria at the site. Astoria was incorporated by the Oregon Legislative Assembly on October 20, 1876. The city is served by the deep water port of Astoria. Transportation includes the Astoria Regional Airport with U.S. Route 30 and U.S. Route 101 as the main highways, and the Astoria Megler Bridge connecting to neighboring Washington across the river. The population was 9,477 at the 2010 census. The Lewis and Clark expedition spent the winter of 1805 to 1806 at Fort Clatsop, a small log structure south and west of modern day Astoria. The expedition had hoped a ship would come by to take them back east but instead they endured a torturous winter of rain and cold, later returning the way they came. Today the fort has been recreated and is now a historical park. In 1811, British explorer David Thompson, the first person known to have navigated the entire length of the Columbia River, reached the partially constructed Fort Astoria near the mouth of the river. He arrived just two months after the Pacific Fur Company's ship, the Tonquin. The fort constructed by the Tonquin Party established Astoria as a U.S., rather than a British, settlement, became a vital post for American exploration of the continent and was later used as an American claim in the Oregon boundary dispute with European nations. The Pacific Fur Company, a subsidiary of John Jacob Astor's American Fur Company, was created to begin fur trading in the Oregon country. During the War of 1812, in 1813, the company's officers sold its assets to their Canadian rivals. The Northwest Company. The fur trade would remain under British control until U.S. pioneers following the Oregon Trail began filtering into the town in the mid 1840s. The Treaty of 1818 established joint U.S. British occupancy of the Oregon Country. In 1846, the Oregon Treaty divided the mainland at the 49th parallel north, and the southern portion of Vancouver Island south of this line was awarded to the British. Washington Irving, a prominent American writer with a European reputation, was approached by John Jacob Astor to mythologize the three-year reign of his Pacific Fur Company. Astoria, 1835, written while Irving was Astor's guest, cemented the importance of the region in the American psyche. In Irving's words, the fur traders were sinbeds of the wilderness, and their venture was a staging point for the spread of American economic power into both the continental interior and into the Pacific. As the Oregon Territory grew and became increasingly more colonized by Americans, Astoria likewise grew as a port city near the mouth of the Great River that provided the easiest access to the interior. The first U.S. post office west of the Rocky Mountains was established in Astoria in 1847 and official state incorporation in 1876. Astoria attracted a host of immigrants beginning in the late 19th century, Nordic settlers, primarily Finns, and Chinese soon became larger parts of the population. The Finns mostly lived in Uniontown, near the present-day end of the Astoria Megler Bridge, and took fishing jobs. The Chinese tended to do cannery work, and usually lived either downtown or in bunkhouses near the canneries. By the late 1800s, 22% of Astoria's population was Chinese. In 1883, and again in 1922, downtown Astoria was devastated by fire, partly because it was mostly wood and entirely raised off the marshy ground on pilings. Even after the first fire, the same format was used, and the second time around the flames spread quickly again, as collapsing streets took out the water system. Frantic citizens resorted to dynamite, blowing up entire buildings to stop the fire from going further. Astoria has served as a port of entry for over a century and remains the trading center for the lower Columbia Basin, although it has long since been eclipsed by Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington, as an economic hub on the coast of the Pacific Northwest. Astoria's economy centered on fishing, fish processing, and lumber. In 1945, about 30 canneries could be found along the Columbia, however, in 1974, the Bumblebee Seafoods Corporation moved its headquarters out of Astoria and gradually reduced its presence until closing its last Astoria cannery in 1980. The lumber industry likewise declined. Astoria Plywood Mill, the city's largest employer, closed in 1989, and the Burlington Northern and Santa Fe Railway discontinued service to Astoria in 1996. From 1921 to 1966, 
a ferry route across the Columbia River connected Astoria with Pacific County, Washington. In 1966, the Astoria-Megler Bridge was opened. The bridge completed U.S. Route 101 and linked Astoria with Washington on the opposite shore of the Columbia, replacing the ferry service. Today, tourism, Astoria's growing art scene, and light manufacturing are the main economic activities of the city. Logging and fishing persist, but at a fraction of their former levels. It is a port of call for cruise ships since 1982, after $10 million in pier improvements to accommodate these larger ships. To avoid Mexican ports of call during the swine flu outbreak of 2009, many cruises were rerouted to include Astoria. The floating residential community MS The World visited Astoria in June 2009. The town's seasonal sport fishing tourism has been active for several decades. In addition to the replicated Fort Clatsop, another point of interest is the Astoria Column, a tower high, built atop Coxcomb Hill above the town, with an inner circular staircase allowing visitors to climb to see a panoramic view of the town, the surrounding lands, and the Columbia flowing into the Pacific. The tower was built in 1926 with financing by the Great Northern Railway and Vincent Astor of the Astor family, the great grandson of John Jacob Astor in commemoration of the city's role in the family's business history and the region's early history. Since 1998, artistically inclined fishermen and women from Alaska and the Pacific Northwest have traveled to Astoria for the Fisher Poets Gathering, where poets and singers tell their tales to honor the fishing industry and lifestyle. Astoria is also the western terminus of the Transamerica Bicycle Trail. A coast to coast bicycle touring route created in 1976 by the Adventure Cycling Association. Three United States Coast Guard cutters, the Steadfast, Alert, and Fur, call the Port of Astoria home. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and is water. Astoria lies within the Mediterranean Climate Zone, Kupin CSB, with very mild temperatures year round, some of the most consistent in the contiguous United States. Winters are mild for this latitude, it usually remains above freezing at night, and wet. Summers are cool, although short heat waves can occur. Rainfall is most abundant in late fall and winter and is lightest in July and August, averaging approximately of rain each year. Snowfall is relatively rare, occurring in only three fifths of years. Nevertheless, when conditions are ripe, significant snowfalls can occur. Astoria is tied with Lake Charles, Louisiana, and Port Arthur, Texas as the city with the highest average relative humidity in the contiguous United States. The average relative humidity in Astoria is 89% in the morning and 73% in the afternoon. Annually, there are an average of only 4.2 afternoons with temperatures reaching or higher, and readings are rare. Normally there are only one or two nights per year when the temperature remains at or above. There are an average of 31 mornings with minimum temperatures at or below the freezing mark. The record high temperature was on July 1, 1942. The record low temperature was on December 8, 1972, and on December 21, 1990. There are an average of 191 days with measurable precipitation. The wettest water year, defined as October 1 through September 30 of the next year, was from 1915-16 with and the driest from 2000 to 2001 with. The most rainfall in one month was in December 1933, and the most in 24 hours was on November 25, 1998. The most snowfall in one month was in January 1950, and the most snow in 24 hours was on December 11, 1922. As of the 2010 census, there were 9,477 people, 4,288 households, and 2,274 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 4,980 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 89.2% white, 0.6% African American, 1.1% Native American, 1.8% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 3.9% from other races, and 3.3% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 9.8% of the population. There were 4,288 households of which 24.6% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 37.9% were married couples living together, 10.8% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.3% had a male householder with no wife present, and 47.0% were non-families. 
38.8% of all households were made up of individuals and 15.1% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.15 and the average family size was 2.86. The median age in the city was 41.9 years. 20.3% of residents were under the age of 18, 8.6% were between the ages of 18 and 24. 24.3% were from 25 to 44, 29.9% were from 45 to 64, and 17.1% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 48.4% male and 51.6% female. As of the 2000 census, there were 9,813 people, 4,235 households, and 2,469 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,597.6 people per square mile, 617.1 per square kilometer. There were 4,858 housing units at an average density of 790.9 per square mile, 305.5 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 5.98% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. 14.2% were of German. 11.4% Irish, 10.2% English, 8.3% United States or American, 6.1% Finnish, 5.6% Norwegian, and 5.4% Scottish ancestry according to the 2000 United States Census. There were 4,235 households out of which 28.8% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 43.5% were married couples living together. 11.2% had a female householder with no husband present, and 41.7% were non-families. 35.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 13.6% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.26 and the average family size was 2.93. In the city the population was spread out with. The median age was 38 years. For every 100 females. There were 92.3 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 89.9 males. The median income for a household in the city was $33,011, and the median income for a family was $41,446. Males had a median income of $29,813 versus $22,121 for females. The per capita income for the city was $18,759. About 11.6% of families and 15.9% of the population were below the poverty line, including 22.0% of those under age 18 and 9.6% of those age 65 or over. Astoria operates under a council manager form of city government. Voters elect four councillors by ward and a mayor, who each serve four-year terms. Stop the mayor and council appoint a city manager to conduct the ordinary business of the city. The current mayor is Bruce Jones, a retired U.S. Coast Guard captain, who took office on January, 2019. His predecessor, Arline Lamier served from 2015 to 2018. The Astoria School District has four primary and secondary schools, including Astoria High School. Clatsop Community College is the city's two-year college. The city also has a library and many parks with historical significance, plus the second oldest Job Corps facility, Tongue Point Job Corps in the nation. The Daily Astorian is the main newspaper serving Astoria, it was established nearly, in 1873, and has been in publication continuously since that time. The Coast River Business Journal is a monthly business magazine covering Astoria, Clatsop County, and the Northwest Oregon Coast. It, as with the Daily Astorian, is part of the EO Media Group, formerly the East Oregonian Publishing Company. Family of Oregon and Washington newspapers. The local NPR station is KMUN 91.9, and CAST 1370 is a local news talk radio station. Shanghai in Astoria is a musical about Astoria's history that has been performed in Astoria every year since 1984. Astoria was the setting of the 1985 film The Goonies, which was filmed on location. Other movies filmed in Astoria include Short Circuit, The Black Stallion, Kindergarten Cop. Free Willy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Benji the Hunted, The Ring 2, Into the Wild, The Guardian, Cthulhu, and Green Room. It is claimed that the actor Clark Gable began his career at the Astoria Theater in 1922. 
The early 1960s television series Route 66 filmed the episode entitled One Tiger to a Hill in Astoria. It was broadcast on September 21, 1962. Leroy Ed Parsons, called the father of cable television, developed one of the first community antenna television stations, CATV, in the United States and Astoria. Pop punk band The Atari's fourth album was titled So Long, Astoria as an allusion to the Goonies. A song of the same title as the album's first track. The album's back cover features news clippings from Astoria, including a picture of the port's water tower from a 2002 article on its demolition. Pop punk band Mariana's Trench have an album titled Astoria. The band states the album was inspired by 1980s fantasy and adventure films, and the Goonies in particular. That film inspired the title, as it was set in Astoria. The album's artwork, as well as the title of their accompanying U.S. tour, Hey You Guys. Dot. Two U.S. Navy cruisers were named USS Astoria, a New Orleans class heavy cruiser, CA 34, and a Cleveland class light cruiser. CL-90. The former was lost in the Pacific Ocean in combat at the Battle of Savo Island in August 1942, during World War II, and the latter was scrapped in 1971 after being removed from active duty in 1949. Astoria has one sister city, as designated by Sister Cities International. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.